Join Universe Revealed as we dive into the historic achievement of the first probe to land in the uncharted territory near the moon's south pole with India's highly anticipated lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3. The moon, our constant companion in the night sky, harbors a secret, an unexplored side known as the dark side. In this mysterious region, we find the lunar south pole, which has remained untouched by humanity and was once thought to contain moisture. The dark side of the moon has long captivated human imaginations. You might wonder why it's called the dark side. Is it perpetually shrouded in darkness? In truth, we only ever see one side of the moon from Earth, due to the unique synchronization between the moon's rotation and its orbit around our planet. As a result, while one hemisphere is always visible to us, the other remains out of sight, shrouded in mystery. This hidden hemisphere, which we call the dark side of the moon, has only been seen by NASA astronauts as they orbited the moon during Apollo missions. Interestingly, from this hidden side, Earth appears bright in the lunar sky. The sun, of course, is the brightest object, illuminating the moon's crescent and creating a celestial spectacle. However, for the dark side, it is the Earth's reflected light that illuminates the moon's surface, offering us glimpses of its hidden features. Until now, no human has set foot on this side of the moon, and no unmanned spacecraft had landed there. This unexplored lunar terrain was waiting to reveal its secrets. That was until the groundbreaking mission of Chandrayaan-2 embarked on its journey to the unknown. The mission Chandrayaan-2 by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, was launched to land the first probe on the lunar south pole. After a successful launch in 2019, the probe did reach the lunar south pole, but not the way ISRO wanted it to. As the lander Vikram descended toward the surface of the moon, a series of anomalies disrupted its braking system. Destiny seemed to have different plans for this dream mission, and sadly, Moments before touchdown, Vikram crash-landed, leaving everyone shocked and disappointed. Mission Chandrayaan-2 was left hanging, and Vikram lay silently on the gray surface, cold and motionless. The entire world mourned in grief as the mission ended in failure. However, amidst the dark clouds, a glimmer of hope still remained. As they say, there is no failure in science. It's either a success or a learning experience. India was not ready to give up on the lunar south pole, ISRO learned from its past mistakes, and with renewed determination, Indian scientists set their sights on the dark side of the moon once again. ISRO scientists started reworking their calculations extensively, which included onboard algorithms responsible for calculating spacecraft speed during descent, allowing for more flexibility while still ensuring a safe landing. Other crucial modifications included expanding the target landing zone, strengthening the lander's legs to withstand higher landing speeds, and employing dynamic engines to ensure a smoother touchdown. The setback of Chandrayaan-2 provided great insights into the major challenges that could come ahead of a successful lunar landing. And after four years of vigorous hard work, Chandrayaan-3 made history. On July 14, 2023, the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft launched from Sriharikota, an island situated off India's east coast. The spacecraft entered an elliptical orbit around the moon and pulled off some amazing maneuvers. After that, it effortlessly shifted into a nearly perfectly circular path. And finally, on August 23, 2023, India joined the Moon Landing Club with a successful touchdown of the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft near the moon's south pole. This landing became a milestone for ISRO. It made India the fourth country to achieve a lunar landing, following the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China. The chairman of ISRO, Sridhara Somanath, proudly announced, we have achieved a soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Chandrayaan 3's lunar landing was celebrated, not only by Indians, but the global community. Now let's jump into the reason why we are so interested in this mission. There is water on the dark side of the moon. The primary objective of Chandrayaan-3 is to gather vital information about the presence of water ice. This discovery could be a game changer, serving as a crucial resource for future crewed missions. The potential of this water ice is what has captivated global interest in exploring the moon's uncharted side. If harnessed, this resource could be pivotal for creating rocket fuel and supporting life in future space endeavors. The instruments on board Chandrayaan-3, built by India's Physical Research Laboratory, PRL, will also contribute significantly to the scientific understanding of the moon's surface. But how is all this scientific data being sent to Earth? Well, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter was still circling the moon and had been doing its job with absolute dedication since 2019. 
During their orbit around the moon on August 21st and 22nd, prior to their lunar landing, the Pragyan rover and Vikram lander successfully established communication with the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. This achievement highlighted that Chandrayaan-2 had its share of successes. Significantly, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter played an essential role in the Chandrayaan-3 mission, acting as a vital communication link between the mission and Earth. This successful communication was a relief and a testament to the relentless efforts of the scientists whose years of dedication culminated in this moment. The thought of such intricate missions facing challenges is daunting, reflecting the high stakes involved in space exploration. Shifting focus, it's interesting to note that India was not the only country targeting the lunar south pole. Several nations have shown interest in this region, underscoring its importance for future space missions. Russia's Luna 25 mission also aimed to explore the uncharted region of the moon. However, the mission faced significant challenges and ultimately concluded with an unfortunate crash. Now, let's focus on the specific objectives of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Chandrayaan 3's journey to the moon is not just a leap in space exploration, but a showcase of advanced technology and meticulous planning. This mission employs state of the art technology, including improved navigation systems and more robust instrumentation to withstand the harsh lunar environment. The probe's instruments are designed to conduct detailed geological surveys, analyze the mineral composition of the lunar surface, and search for potential resources. These investigations are crucial for understanding the moon's evolution and assessing its potential for future human colonization. The mission also aims to advance our understanding of space weather and its impact on lunar exploration. The data gathered by Chandrayaan-3 will provide valuable insights into the moon's polar regions, which remain some of the most mysterious and unexplored areas in our solar system. The mission included the Vinkram lander, equipped with sophisticated instruments for detecting moonquakes and measuring lunar soil temperatures. Alongside it, the Pragyan rover played a crucial role in analyzing the moon's surface composition. The tracks left by Pragyan's wheels on the lunar surface not only marked human technological advancement, but also our persistent quest for lunar exploration. During their approximately 14-day mission at the moon's south pole, Pragyan and Vinkram collected a wealth of scientific data, significantly contributing to our understanding of the moon's characteristics. But what happened after these 14 days? The moon's south pole is notoriously frigid, with temperatures plummeting to as low as minus 238 degrees Celsius. In such extreme conditions, the endurance of Vinkram and Pragrin's instruments are a concern. While they were designed to last one lunar day, equivalent to 14 Earth days, their functionality beyond this period in the harsh lunar environment was uncertain. As the sun set on the landing site after two weeks, the Vinkram lander and Pragrin rover were left to fight against the freezing lunar night for the last time. With temperatures dropping and the batteries draining, the survival of the robotic duo was just not possible. The duo of lunar explorers went silent at the end of 14 Earth days. Researchers at ISRO, holding on to hope, longed for an extension, believing that the instruments of both the rover and the lander might endure beyond their expected lifespan. Even with their best efforts, the machines remained inactive, not reawakening. Nonetheless, there's no reason to lose heart. The good news is, there are a lot more lunar missions pouring in. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, with a modest budget of 6 million rupees, about 73 million dollars US, has come at a time when multiple nations, including the United States and China, are actively planning future crewed missions to the moon. NASA's Artemis 3 mission aims to land astronauts near the lunar south pole by late 2025 or 2026. And not just that, after landing humans, NASA is planning to colonize the moon in order to prepare for the bigger mission of colonizing Mars. Chandrayaan 3's success has contributed to the growing interest in lunar exploration and has set the stage for further advancements in space exploration. The success of these missions will not only ignite the spark of curiosity among the younger generations, but also propel them towards space education. They will come to realize that exploring the final frontier of human space exploration is the ultimate need of the hour. Well that's all for this video, keep looking up, and the next time you gaze up at the moon, just remember that there's a whole other world on the flip side just waiting to be explored. Ciao space explorers, until next time.